What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are taking a look at a new WWE Elite action figure and it is the WWE Elite Defining Moments Ringside Exclusive 4 Pack Mankind figure. That was a mouthful. And today we have an interesting look. This is arguably the worst figure out of the 4 pack and I hate to start off the review that way but it's just the simple facts of the matter. If you guys didn't know, this does come as part of a big 4 pack Defining Moments set from Ringside Collectibles. It is Ringside Exclusive. If you guys want to go get this set or this figure individually, check out the rest of the figures in their reviews. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there, but this figure just looks a bit jacksy. When I first saw this figure, I was thinking that it looked a bit jacksy. He just looks big in the torso area, but we get a brand new head sculpt. We got some cool stuff going on here, but got Mankind on the sides, of course. And then if we zoom in here, you got Mankind's name, and then you have Mankind there with his interchangeable head, and it goes all the way down to the ringside exclusive sticker and the defining moments at the bottom. And this is really badass. On the back, you have that shot of Mankind looking down on the under Taker from the Hell in a Cell, and then it goes down into the bio read, which if you guys would like to read it, you can pause it now. I would say for the most part, all four figures in this set do include a defining moment. You know, sometimes I felt like the, the classic defining moments line kind of avoided that, or it didn't quite encapture defining moment, like, specifically, but I think this line has done a really good job, and hopefully they keep it that way in the next four pack that we get next year. I honestly think, I don't know if they could do it or not, I think they might could get away with it, but what about a WrestleMania? What about a WrestleMania a 13 Austin with a screaming bloody head sculpt? Dude, how sick ass would that be? Like, this figure has a little bit of blood in the mouth, which we'll get into, so maybe they get... I don't know, man. I feel like they might could pull the trigger on it. It is Stone Cold Steve Austin. It is ringside exclusive. You're not putting that out at retail. That's not going to retail shelves. I, I don't know. They may be able to swing it, but nonetheless, let's shut the hell up, crack mankind out of his packaging, push him off the cell, and take him straight to hell. So here's Mankind out of his packaging, man. I'm digging what we're seeing right here, man. I really appreciate this figure a lot. But at the same time, I don't like this figure. I got some stuff, some quarrels about this figure, which we're going to discuss ad nauseum in this video. I think the points that I've had since the beginning, since we saw this figure on display at the WrestleMania Superstore out in LA for WrestleMania weekend. Can't wait for next year's WrestleMania, man. That was such a dream. I had such a blast on that trip. And I hope that we do the same out in Philadelphia for WrestleMania 40. But hopefully we don't see a jack ass figure like this. That's all jokes, but I'm serious. I, I just, I, you know, I kind of inflated it there, but let's dive into this Mankind figure, man. Let's dive into the accessories. Let's dive into the figure itself. Let's find out if this figure grows on me or not, but right now he's coming in at dead last in my ranking of this Defining Moments figure set. So let's dive into the accessories, and then we'll dive into Mankind himself. All right, man, so getting into Mankind's accessories, you get two interchangeable head sculpts and two pairs of interchangeable hands. Now, this is our new Mick Foley or Mankind head sculpt here. You guys can see he's got, like, the natted hair. Obviously, he had been through hell in this matchup, pun intended, but there is a tooth in the nose. The likeness is really good, and you guys can see this. Like, he, like, bit his lip, or, like, his mouth is bleeding from the, you know, the grueling punishment in this matchup, and I think it looks pretty good. I guess, technically, this is our first, like, blood Mattel figure. Here. And it looks good here. And then you have like this classic head sculpt here that we've seen a hundred times from Mattel by now, but it does have the removable mask on here. And I think this looks pretty good as well. This one's I've always kind of liked. And this one, it's weird because this one's taller. And I don't know. It's just, I, I don't know. Which one do you guys like? I like the expression on this one. I just feel like maybe it's a bit too tall. And that's why maybe, you know, his body looks so long. But the mask sculpt's nice, you know, everything like that. I, I like it. Kind of gives me like leather face vibes, always has. So that's pretty cool. I think Mattel does a good job on the mankind. I dig both Mankind head sculpts. I think these are great. So, I guess now we need one without the tooth in the nose. That way, you know, you could have, like, this beat-up Mick Foley grin. And then outside of that, you do have, like, these wide-open hands, which I really don't... I don't, I don't know why they gave him this. I mean, I, I feel like you could have given him a lot of stuff, but didn't he wear wrist tape and hand tape in this matchup, or am I tripping? Anyway, there's bare hands, and then you have Mike holding hand. And that's it for your Mankind. No st I feel like a steel chair would have went really good with this. You know, a, a steel chair accessory would have been cool. All right, man, so diving into Mankind himself starting out the head sculpt we took a look at it you know i like the head sculpt man i really do i just think that like when you look at the complete body of work with this head sculpt and like just the torso it just looks jacksy bro I, and like i've said that since the beginning it just looks jacksy man that's really all i can say you do have this sculpted shirt here with the tie down there it doesn't like flail around or anything that is sculpted on there in place you have these cool sculpted sleeves on here but i don't really care for it because it looks like it's like tight on his arms like he's filling it out like a damn maximum 
minimum sweat figure, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, I think it's cool and unique, it's just like his arms are too big and jacked, and then you got this involved, and then you have like the shoulders that are smaller, so it looks like it's like tight fit, like I said, and it looks, I don't, it's just weird, at least weird looking, but you spin it around, he does have the tacks in the back, which is so cool, it's got like silver metallic paint on there, which is really awesome, the double jointed arms are great and, and everything, and I like the tears at the bottom of the shirt, that's cool as well, he's got the brown pants in here, or tights, and then they go down into the boots, which look really good, the boots look really highly detailed as well, the eyelets of the boots are even painted silver, which is a nice touch, but say what you want to, this figure looks jacksy, man, just look how big he is in the, like, he doesn't look frumpy, kind of like Mankind was, he looks like, I don't even know, like, look at him standing there, I don't know, you guys can let me know down in the comment section below, but for your figure comparisons, we do have a couple Mankinds here that look a bit frumpy, you have a Cactus Jack here with the head swab, I think, I can't remember what Elite this was exactly, but then you have the Rock and Sock Connection 2-pack, which, I, I think this is a great representation of Mankind, especially in, like, the black pants, like the SummerSlam Elite, which I don't have, like, that's another, the Elite 51 Mankind I sold, I'm missing the SummerSlam Elite, saw it multiple times, didn't grab it, don't have the Elite 17 or the Elite 14 or whatever that was, I think it was Elite 17, so I'm missing some Mankind figures as well, but am I tripping, man? I just think they did it right with these, and I feel like they could have done the same or a similar thing, like they did with this Mankind here, he's got the right, like, some upgraded version of these sculpted sleeves and this overthrow shirt would have done wonders, I think, for this Mankind. I don't know. Am I tripping or does he look like a Titan Tron live figure or something? Like, that's what it reminds me of. I just feel like I see a Jax figure when I see this, and I think that they could do it better and they could fix it up right, but I don't know what that looks like completely. But I am glad not to have another damn sweatpants Shane McMahon legs. Like, I'm so tired of this leg mold and these shoes together. Garbage. Get them out of here. Ugly. We've seen it. It needs to go away. This too. Same thing. I hate it. But, uh, yeah. Jaxy Mankind. Jacked ass torso. Like, look at it, man. I might experiment with that figure and try to see if I can do something different. Because, uh, I think it needs it. And then for your Titan Tron Live Mankind figure comparison, here's the Ultimate Edition Undertaker figure, which is really cool. So, now we just need a damn crowdfund Hell in a Cell with a Terry Funk Ultimate Edition with removable shoes for our, ch for our Undertaker Ultimate to choke slam this one through the middle of the cage. You could have Operational Door, Operational Top Door, that like a trap door at the top. You could have Announcer Tables that come with it. You could have some more ring skirts that come with our Attitude Era ring or like other rings that we've got. I think that's the next play at a crowdfunder. A Hell in a Cell or Elimination Chamber playset. It's the only way. It's the only damn way, damn it. You can have, like, metallic-looking plastic that makes it look really official. Oh, damn, bro. Now I'm working myself up. Like, you could come with so many cool Ultimate Editions in that thing. Huh. You could do an Ultimate Mankind that would be this figure, but ten times better. Bloody head sculpts, maybe? I don't know, but, uh, yeah, you get the point. But I think that pretty much wraps up our Defining Moments Mankind action figure review, man. At the end of the day... I just think that this figure just looks so damn big in the torso, you know? I, I don't like that they didn't include the wrist tape. He's supposed to have, like, wrist tape and hand tape in this matchup, I'm pretty sure. I think a steel chair accessory would have been nice to add. I just think he's so, like, weird. Like, I, I, I can't even describe it, man. I think on the lower half it works fine, and I think this head sculpt doesn't make him look as jacksy, it doesn't make his torso look as big, but like, it being tight-knit to the bicep makes it feel like, makes it look like he's like filling out his shirt, when in reality it's like the one right side was like rolled up a little bit, and then the other side is supposed to be like torn and like kind of flail, but it's tight-knit around his bicep, so it makes him look extra jacked. And it gives this figure a real jacks feel. It makes it feel overly jacked. I feel like the torso's too big. And I don't and I don't despise the figure. I just think it could be much better. But I will say having this head sculpt on it, I think it sits a bit lower. And it makes the figure's proportions look a whole lot better. But you guys can be the judges of that. I just think, this is just my opinion on this. This is just how I feel about the figure. I love Mankind. I love Mick Foley, Cactus Jack. Absolute legend. But I just feel like this figure could have been better. And I think that it is my least favorite out of the four. But the figure has grown on me a little bit. But I think it depends on the head sculpt you use. So I guess, you know, it just, I don't know. I think this head sculpt makes him not look as tall, which adds to him not looking as Jack. But I think the best way to go, and I do love the details of the figure. I like the tacks in the back. I like the new tooth up the nose head sculpt. I like the likeness. I just think you're better off, like, maybe putting some fatter arms or some non-jacked arms with some white wrist tape and then cutting this shirt off and then putting, like, a cloth shirt and tie over it. I'm just throwing stuff at the wall 
wall, seeing what sticks, but I don't know, that may be something to look into, but I think this figure could be better, and uh, I think it misses the mark in some cases, but nonetheless, if you guys want to grab this figure, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% at Ringside Collectibles, but that is going to wrap this video up, man, thank you guys so very much for watching, I'd love to know your thoughts on the figure down in the comments section below, be sure to check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. Huge shout out to the Patreon Army as always. Always love those guys and appreciate them for all of their continued support. You guys are the absolute goats. Huge shout out to the Patreon Army, the MDT YouTube channel. But that is going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below. I'm getting out of here. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one. You'll never back down.